whenever I do run an autocar, I'm instantly like paranoid. And it looks like I'm gonna actually have to go down here to find it. This is, this is a fine dude. Bro, that's that stalker's mask, dude. Bro. What's going on, guys? I am out here. You can see it's already nighttime. And uh, I am at a brand new spot. Brand new area. I don't think I've ever done random nautica out here. I've done plenty of random nautica on the outskirts of this area, the outskirts of the city, but wanted to try and, and try some intense uh, in a city for once. We haven't done that in a long time. I know some people are asking me for uh, for some urban, so to put the urban in cursed urban. So here we are, we're gonna do a few intents in here and move out to the country. So that being said, let's get started on today's random nautica. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button for me. Uh, subscribing to this channel is a risk-free trial, so if you absolutely hate the channel, you do not have to stay subscribed, but I think you will find something you like. So make sure to go down there, hit the subscribe button. All my returning viewers, my cursed crew, make sure to go down there, hit that like button, share the video, and leave me a comment. I haven't done this for the past couple week, uh, episodes because I completely forgot. Leave me a comment of, uh, see, Rananautica is the best. <laughs> Leave me that. And uh, we'll start off the episode with Rananautica is the best, filling the comment section with that. So, uh, <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, so we're, we're getting into it right now. Our uh, first intent is from Rain14. And they left the intent of uh, relics of old and new. So this has actually brought us right down by the water again. Uh, just a little ways up there is our intent. I'm just kind of walking around. It's a nice night out. Getting a little bit cold, but I mean, still not, still not too bad. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're gonna get into it and. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say. I'm struggling for words right now. So the intent, supposedly, right along this little shoreline thing. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for, because relics of old and new could certainly mean, oh, that's all mud. Oh, that's a bad idea. Bad idea, that's all mud. <sighs> Great. <laughs> Great. Oh, uh, what a way to start off the video. Um, oh, man. So, oh, excuse me. I'm not crying. The uh, uh, wind's just in my eyes a little bit. So, yeah, what a way to start off the video. And completely, my, my foot completely soaked with mud. Anyways, our intent somewhere right here somewhere right here I don't know exactly where so let's look okay I'm kind of adjusting to this area to the city city ran in Nautica because Whenever I do random nautica, I'm instantly like paranoid. You know, I'm paranoid of stalkers, um, of, of really anybody, honestly. And now that I'm like in a park, like dirt, like kind, kind of a, by a pretty big city, I mean, pretty decent sized city. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not used to, well, I should, I shouldn't, never mind, never mind. Oh, I was gonna over explain that for no reason. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm not used to always, you know, 
always uh, having this many people around. So whenever I hear somebody like coming down this bike path, because we're right by this bike path, I'm like, oh, who is that? Who is that? Like, who's up, who's coming up on me? When it's, you know, just people like, you know, using this for transportation or exercise or whatever, even this cold day. Um, so it's it's kind of throwing me off because I'm always like looking over my shoulder when I hear someone. I need to I need to get over that though. Anyways, uh, I'm not seeing anything. I was hoping to find something cool, like something that maybe washed up on shore or whatever. <laughs> check around these benches oh so there's something right by that rock what's that what is that oh look at my boot mother Ugh. pipe and tobacco shop Age 59, exclusive creation by International Resource Services, 1994, made in China. Huh, relics of old and new. That definitely fits the bill. I wouldn't say this is a relic, it's from 94, but old and new. So yeah, a new recreation of an old shop. Relics of old and new. Okay. Dude, that's what's up. You know what's cool is like, some of you guys know I'm really like into Christmas villages and Halloween villages and stuff. So finding things like this is really exciting for me personally. Like these miniature buildings. That's really cool though. That is really cool. Thank you so much, Rain, for that intention. That was that's an awesome find to start out the day. Um... That's what's up. <laughs> that is what's up. Uh, anyways, so I'm going to head back to the car after I wipe some of this mud off of my boots, dude. It's so bad. I stepped literally like right into that mud, dude. Like, oh. I hate tracking it into my car, man. Makes me do. There's nothing that makes me more mad than getting mud all over my car. Ugh, just trying to wipe the boots off. Anyways, so uh, what, are, what were we talking about? What were we discussing here? Oh, I wanted to give you guys a little update from the last rain in Nautica while I wipe my boots off. So, last rain in Nautica ended kind of, kind of poorly, um, well, you guys know how it ended, and if you, if you don't, make sure to, make sure to go down there and, uh, watch it, it's the one right before this one, um, but yeah, last rain Nautica ended, uh, with me, with, with a stalker actually breaking into my house, and, uh, yeah, I had to, had to, uh, call the cops everything and the thing is the thing with that whole situation and I still haven't figured this out is uh when that soccer broke in they were holding a bloody mask of of another soccer um so the general consensus in the comments from you guys is they think and I agree with you guys that the one stalker took out the other stalker um, like the cult stalker took out the, uh, tape mask stalker. And I mean, it's definitely feasible. It definitely makes sense. Um, so yeah, time will tell if that's true or if that's, you know, just a, a good theory, but, uh, yeah, we shall, we shall see. Anyways, I'm almost back to the car. So, uh, set another intent and I don't know, we'll probably stick around this area and see what else, what else we can get. All right, we just pulled up to another intention, this one in the middle of a neighborhood, another point, I mean, and uh, this is from w Wandanator, I think, and I believe, sorry if I got that wrong, I believe it's, uh, 
or no, Yolanda Nader, that's it, I just had to look it up, Yo, no wait, I'm sorry, Yolanda, Yolanda Ader, 5230, there we go, I don't know why I thought Wanda, um, and, uh, their intent, because it's from, uh, Dirk and Yolanda, is from, uh, is Uncommon Experiences, and that should be, should be interesting, with the intents right over here, and it looks like I'm going to actually have to go down here to find it, because it's like under here. Maybe, maybe it's under here. Let me check the point again. Can go investigate. No, it's actually. I wasn't zoomed in. It's actually a little ways over there. Okay, but we can go investigate anyways. See what this. Not not too often that we head into an aqueduct. Aqueduct, right? Oh, look at that. It's crazy, dude. Max and I have actually been in a few of these. If you watch, we found we found a few things in uh, under bridges like these. Um, it's not often. It's not often, but it it does happen. We do get points. Actually, I think I got one under a bridge like this not too long ago. But anyways, it's not under here. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit further down that way. Um, I got over ambitious and I was like, oh, like the point is you know under there because you know that's where I assumed it would be and uh see I don't think it is or it's not the point's actually like right over here yeah it's like right over here and the point itself is like right here right where concrete meets uh where concrete meets uh, grass right down here. So this is our point. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if we're gonna, I don't see anything. So it should be somewhere in this little radius. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna find anything, guys. I don't see anything. There's like, I don't know, let's we'll look around. We'll look around to see if we see anything. Okay, uncommon experience as I believe was the intent. So let's see. Let's see if there's anything down here. That could be an uncommon experience. All these guys are like, dude, why is this why is this dude down there? They probably think I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they think I'm doing. I think I'm some drunk down here. <sighs> I'm, I'm looking down here, guys. I'm looking down here because this this just honestly seems most likely spot for an intent to be. I don't know if it will be like down here for sure. It just seems like this would be the most likely spot. Something might be placed or hidden. Then again, the intent is uncommon experiences, I believe. So it could just be, you know, this like the uh, the place itself could be the intent. The intent, just like this aqueduct area. Um, it doesn't have to be. It can be. An, it could be an experience. It could be a place. It doesn't always have to be an object. But we're gonna search around. I mean, I don't, I don't see a whole lot out here. Let's search up by this, uh, by this tarp. It looks like they're getting ready to do something out here. Um, like they're getting ready to build like a building of some sort. I don't know. I'll have to look see if there's any signs. But this is all like sectioned off. Let's check along here. No, I don't see anything. Pretty quick. Then uh, we'll head back and we'll say the. Uh, 
that bridge was the, uh, or that aqueduct, or whatever, was the intent. So, common experiences. I'm not seeing anything except fresh dirt and leaves. <sighs> nice little path, though. It's kind of cool. Looks like a lot of people might use this for transportation, because it's like, uh, cuts, cuts neighborhoods and stuff. I saw it on uh, Google Maps, and... That. That's, and that might be sur surveillance equipment and surveillance I mean not like spies but like you know surveying like um survey no it's not like you know surveys like for land like you know for building stuff because this looks like one of those survey cameras they have but it's not it's some old super old Kodak Automatic instant color film. It's like, oh, it's like an old, uh, old, uh, Polaroid. No way. What is this doing out here? Let me adjust the light because it's kind of, you guys can't see it very well. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, check this out. This is, this is a fine dude. This is a fine. I have no idea how old this thing is. <laughs> Lighten, darken. It's got like... Something. Oh, it's a handle on the side? No way. Open. It's stuck. No, wait. How's it open? There's the hinges. It must open. Dude, that's cool. That's cool. And I'd say that's definitely uh, uncommon experiences. Ow. Have a flash? No. Print number. Oh, it's so sick, dude. I bet this is a shutter button. Nice. What's that? Battery. Bro, what kind of battery is even that? Duracell size J? I've never heard of that or seen it. What is Duracell size J? But what... What even needs a battery on this thing? It doesn't look like anything needs a battery. I don't know what that is. Oh, maybe that's for the flash. Yeah, because there's some metal contacts. Okay, so maybe that's what needs the battery. Because this, that's like, see this little handle? That looks like that's how you roll your picture up. Like after you take the picture, you actually wind that handle and spits the picture out. So I wonder if you can only have... No, you can have more than one in here at a time. I gotta ask my buddy about this. He'll know. I have a few friends who shoot film. They'll probably know all about this thing. <laughs> Pleaser 2. Code... Codematic Instant Camera. Huh. The Pleaser 2. I wish somebody was here so I could make a your mom joke. <laughs> but, uh... Huh, that's, that's very, very, very interesting. I'm, I, that's a fine dude. I love cameras, as you guys can probably tell. And I am, dude, I'm happy about that. I don't know if I'll ever use it. I don't even know if I'll keep it. But just to find it and look at it and, like, mess with it, that's kind of cool. That's really cool. All right, so second intent down. We definitely have some good stuff. And uh, we're going to keep going, man. We're on a roll tonight. This is a lucky city. Welcome back, welcome back. So, as you guys can see, we have a little bit of a kink in the plans today. And uh, that's because it's snowing. It's snowing actually pretty good. We got a, I don't know, we got, we got a bit of snow coming in. Um, and, but we're headed to the point right now and uh, we're doing something kind of, uh, kind of edgy, kind of, uh, 
unusual, not unusual, but unusual, I don't know. So, we're doing uh, Something Sinister from April Ross. And uh, the intent, you guys can't see it. Maybe you can. No, you can't. Yeah, you can. There's a tree down there. And uh, it's right over there. And that's where the point is. That's where the pin is. So thank you, April. Let's go see if we can find something sinister. Once again, as you can see, I'm still kind of in uh, public territory. So I am not too worried, but the only thing I'm worried about now is getting snow all over my camera. It is, uh, it's a weather sealed camera, so it should be all right. Um, against moderate, uh, minor to moderate uh, moisture, but I'm not gonna push it, so I'm gonna hurry up on this one, see if we can't find anything, and uh, then head back. Because yeah, I just don't, I just don't wanna get, you know, this camera I got super wet, because it's definitely not cheap. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh man. But yeah, here's, okay, here's the, here's the, here's the point. And here's something sitting right in front of it. Looks like a picture of some sort. Man, it's cold out. What the, what is this, dude? Feast with the crown. Yo, what is, what, dude, what is this? around here that's supposed to like go with it. <laughs> Feast with the crown. Sounds like a bad Burger King commercial. This is honestly one of the craziest looking intents we've ever gotten. Straight up. This is weird. It's supposed to look like it has, it's supposed to look like it's got blood and everything. There's some R, there's an R right on one of the points of the crown. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Dude, I feel like, I don't know what it is, but it makes me feel like sick to my stomach looking at this thing. There's something about it that's like, that's like wrong, I feel like. <clears throat> oh, man, excuse me, guys. Oh, but no, for real, ever since I picked this up, I feel like terrible, like I'm about to throw up. <laughs> Feast with the crown with an R. I don't know what the thing is supposed to be at the bottom. It just doesn't make any sense. What do you guys think this could possibly mean? Give me some input here because I have no idea. All right, I'm getting in the car. My camera's getting absolutely drenched. Um, so I'm not gonna stay. I'm not gonna stay out here too much longer. So I'm not gonna stay out here any longer at all. So weird. All right, back in the car safely. Uh, camera's fine. I'm fine. But dude, it is snowing, snowing out. Like it's probably increased twice as much since I was just outside. Um, so what we're gonna do? What we're gonna do is I am heading home for the day because it is. I've got at least. An hour drive, hour and ten, and I don't know. And this is supposed to be a pretty bad snow. I guess we're supposed to get a lot of snow, so I need to like be on the way before it gets much worse. So I'm gonna head home, but I realize that if I head home and and say, "All right, guys, blah blah blah, thanks for watching," 
this is going to be a really, really, really short video. Because um, I think I've only filmed like between the two intents and this one, not not very long, not very long at all. And I know you guys like the longer videos, um, and I like making them. So what we're going to do is I am going to pick this up tomorrow, and I think it's going to still be snowing then, but I don't know, I'll come a little bit better prepared. Uh, maybe I'll put the camera in like a like a plastic bag or something. I I don't know. Not I don't know what I'll, I'll probably do nothing. I'll probably just complain about it. That's what I'm best at. But um, I'm gonna call it. I am gonna call it for the evening. I'm gonna get going and uh, yeah, we'll pick this up uh, tomorrow night. New spots and uh, see if we can't get anything else. Cause you know, I want to get a longer video to you guys and like. Like, I don't know how, I don't even know how long I filmed today. I know it wasn't long at all. Like 15 minutes, no, it's longer than that. Doesn't matter, it was too short. Um, so, all right guys, uh, we'll pick it up. And also, let me know your thoughts in the comments right now about what that thing is that I just found, that weird picture with the crown. It doesn't make any sense to me. So, let me know what you guys think that is, or what it, what it could be, or if it could be anything, which I'm sure it is, but, uh, all right, I'm going to get going. I'm literally watching the snow pile up by the minute. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow evening. Have a good night. Peace out. Welcome back, guys. Uh, can't see me very well, can you? Looks like I'm going to have to turn the light on after all. All right, welcome back, guys. This is night two of uh, the Randonautica. It's cold out, it just got done snowing. I'm sorry if there's a lot of wind noise, really sorry, but I don't have two mounts. I had to choose my light or my microphone and I went with my light. So hopefully there's not too much wind noise to be too distracting. I assume that there probably is. So apologies, a thousand apologies. But anyways, we're out here. Once again, in a city, kind of, in a town, a uh, different place than I was yesterday. And we're doing the intent, I think, Sounds from the Dark, from our good friend Mikey Mike. It's a big shout out to Mike uh, for leaving us that intent. Yeah, Sounds from the Dark. Ooh, my light is not about it. Dude, it's not having it right now. Anyways, we're right on top of the intent. Uh, it's not too far away. And once again, it's really weird, but it led us to led us to a playground, play park, whatever you want to call it. There's people. See, you can see that it just started snowing. There's people over there sledding. Um, you know, there's, I hear people behind me like playing in the snow. So it, dude, it just got done snowing. Um, got all this fresh snow. It's really wet. Wet, heavy snow though. It's not like uh, it's not it's not a nice fluffy chill snow. It's like this like nasty, nasty stuff that sucks. It just sticks to you. Um, a lot of it's already melting, as you can see. It's like I don't know. We didn't get much, but what we did get made a huge mess. But yeah, so yeah, people over there sledding, having a good time. I'm out here doing Randonautica, having a mediocre time. But, uh, okay, let's look around here. <sighs> See what we find, sounds from the dark. Very ominous intention, I like it. I don't, I don't think we've ever got one quite like that before. But once again, this intent is literally right over here right in the middle of this place. And dude, I makes me wonder if like, something's here if it got like, covered up maybe, or like, you know, uh, oh, man, it's cold out. You know what? Benches first. Benches first. We always need to check the bench first. Because uh, 
don't know. Play it safe. It says down there, play it safe. Yeah, that's one thing we never do on Random Nautica, it's play it safe. Let's check this bench. Look at this, look at this. There's fresh footprints leading up to this bench. Is there, and there's something on it. The old seat, oh, almost slipped, man. Look at this. It's an old CD. Christmas with Kiri Lakanawa. Carols from the Coventry Cathedral. Dude, and this is what I find fascinating. Look at this. This is literally fresh. Like, here's my footprints. Look at these. This is fresh footprints leading right up to this bench and back out to the sidewalk. And then you can see, like, they. Oh, dude, I'm, I almost slipped again not good and you can see they like lead out to that parking lot and it looks like they disappear so I dude I keep telling you guys I think there's random nautica planters and that theory really just keeps compounding every time you know we keep get, gathering more and more evidence to back that up that there's there's random nautica planters. Oh, uh, that's not my theory. Once again, give credit where credit is due. I believe Dan from Exploring with, with Fighters thought there might be uh, random nautica planters. I'm not too sure. I, I'm, I'm fairly certain it was him who thought up that theory, though. And like I said, we have gathered so much evidence, even capturing, capturing everything except for like people actually planting it on video like we have not gotten anybody uh anybody directly planting something on like on video yet but we've we've literally gotten like everything except for that so i don't know do with that information what you wish but yeah it's uh it's very it's very, the evidence is overwhelming that there's evidence, that there's random nautical planters. And I know I, we got to get to this attention. I just want to explain to you guys, maybe for some of you guys who haven't, haven't heard or haven't known about this, but we think there's a separate app for, it might not even be an official like random nautical app. Like the creators of random nautical may not even know of its existence. Um, but we think there's a separate app or some sort of website or something like that where people plant intentions either before we get there or they plant them and then send us the coordinates and then Randonautica sends us those. Like I said, they might not, I, it's probably not even like related to actual Randonautica. It's probably an own, its own thing that's not supposed to exist. Um, but that's the only way I think we're getting like so many intentions and stuff. I don't know. That's what we're working with. Let's get into this, uh, let's get into this intent though. So we got Christmas with Kiri Leitekanawa. Te December 1994, 19, you know what's funny is uh, April Ross, I believe, I think, uh, left us an intent for 90 CD and I was so close to running that one last night. And it's funny that we find a CD tonight. Oh, this thing's in perfect shape. We find a CD tonight that fits that exact description. And it makes sense because it's Sounds of the Dark. You know, we found music in, in the dark. And I'm just kind of going through this to make sure we're not missing anything. Like... Like nobody, because before we've gotten cassette tapes and stuff where stalkers have actually written messages on there. So I just wanted to make sure we didn't, you know, we're not missing anything. But it looks like plain CD. I mean, it's been sitting there for a while, because when I picked this up, this thing was like soaked. Um, but yeah, like I said, guys, uh, coming out from here, like, 
gotta watch my stuff. Oh, dude, there's goose poop everywhere, too. So, yeah, as you can see, like, here's, here's the footprints that come out from here, and they lead into this parking lot and disappear. So, it's, uh, it's, uh, very, very interesting, um, very interesting that we, uh, that we got more evidence of planters on film. Um, but I mean, I'm going to get go back to my car, warm up for a little bit, and then we're gonna run another intent. And uh, I think I'm gonna try to do three intents today too. Try. We'll see. The mind is willing, but the body. Maybe not so much because I am freezing and I forgot my gloves at home, as usual. Okay, we are back out here with another intent. And this one is from Britta Annie. And uh, Britta's intention is, oh, what was it? The cl uh, clock is ticking, I think. Uh, let me double check what it is. I think it's the clock is ticking. Uh, yeah, the clock is ticking, and, oh, whoa, whoops, sorry, guys. I can kind of see out here. I forget that you guys are having a hard trouble seeing out here. <laughs> so, the clock is ticking. And it's somewhere around here. We're already to the point. It was a very quick, very quick jog to the point. And actually, let me check. Oh, the point's actually right here. This is a couple steps off. Same area. All right, the clock is ticking. And again, guys, 1,000 apologies for the wind noise. It's, dude, it's so, I need to get one of those double mounts so I can have a, have a, a microphone and in my light. Um, oh man, no, hold on, hold on, guys. My battery is blinking at me. I got zero percent on this. I got to go back to the car. Whoops. Good thing I'm not too far away. Oh, that would be bad. Yeah, literally zero percent battery. I saw it low on the last one. I just ignored it. Oops. All right, we're back to 100 percent. And uh, okay, the clock is ticking. Good intent. Good intent. Let's see what we find. And see, I was able to park right next to, right next to this area, right next to where the intent is. Yeah, yeah. There's my footprints. All right, let's look around. It's gonna be hard to find intense at night like this with all the snow all around, all these trees. It's gonna be hard to find intense if they're hidden at all. And I don't even know what the clock is ticking could possibly mean. Like what we could. Wait a second. I see something over there. I see that. You literally cannot see that on camera for whatever reason. There's a green light over there. There's a green glow. I just saw it through the trees. And here's footprints again. Here's footprints, dude leading right up to it and people who say like oh Dan those are your footprints you're planting intentions look look okay fine you want you want to see the same foot or the other foot look look that's not my footprint I know people are gonna be the comment oh Dan you left you left footprints here because you're planting intentions Yo, dude, what the, 
What is that? Bro, that's that stalker's mask, dude. That's that 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 stalk that Chucky stalker that we've been getting lately. Getting late, ah, getting lately, dude. Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words, bro. Why is it? Why is this out here? Why? Why is this out here? Looks like there's something taped to it too. There's a note. In your transport number eight. In your transport number eight. Dude, what does that mean? In your transport number eight. I literally ha I cannot even guess what that means. Yeah, dude, this is that Chucky mask for sure. With the glow sticks, dude. Some of you might not, some of you guys might not understand the importance of these glow sticks and why like, oh, you know, wait, where the footprints lead. Okay, there they are, there they are. Those aren't mine. And again, dude, like, look, here's my footprints. There are those. I know, I know for sure. So I'm trying to do like three things at once, guys. Try to shut these glow. All right, I'm trying to shut these glow sticks off, hold my camera, and film the footprints. So I know for sure, 100%, without a fail, someone's gonna be like, good job on covering your footprints, Dan, for planting intentions. <laughs> So I'm just, dude, I'll show you again. Literally, that's not mine. Look, that is not mine. <sighs> but anyways, and then they disappear right here. They disappear in this slush right here. Anyways. I want to know what this means, though. I want to know what this means. Okay. So, like I said, some of you might not know the importance of glow sticks. Why I'm not, why I'm making such a big deal out of it. And that's because a while back, we were getting these weird glow sticks with... Uh, like for intentions or like like showing us intentions that we needed to find um, we're getting quite a bit I think I got three of them at home same exact ones so this guy must be the one that's behind it the stalker it makes me wonder if this was the flashlight stalker the entire time I really wonder I'm really wondering now if this was the flashlight stalker this entire time because what happened last time I did Rain in Nautica is the cult guy broke into my house with a bloody mask of the tape mask stalker. And the tape mask stalker and uh, the flashlight stalker were a guy and a girl um, who, were, who were coming after me. And uh, yeah, I don't know dude, I need to think about this. All right, guys, so, uh, sitting here, I was thinking, like, because the, the stalker mask kind of threw me through a loop, so I was thinking about that, but I, and I started to overlook that note, that note that we got from it, that said, in your transport number eight, and I literally could not figure out what that meant, what in your transport number eight meant, and then it clicked. This car is my transport, obviously. Then I have, 
I'm gonna guess since they since they told me to dial into channel seven another time on these little walkie talkies, I'm gonna guess that they meant get in your car and turn to number eight. I don't know why they just can't say that. Like, hey, get in your car and turn to channel eight on your walkie talkie so we can we can talk to you. Like they have to oh, get in your transport and get on number eight. Like, bro, come on. Like these cults these cults are being a little bit too ridiculous, I think. Anyways. So I'm sitting here waiting to see if, uh, if, if like, if anything, like, I don't know if we get anything at all and dude, somebody's coming up to the car. Dude, my car will not start. Bro, there's somebody right in front of my, yo, yo, dude, who was that? Holy. Bro, bro, dude, it's Dude, what is he talking about? Alert. Yo, what is that even about? Bro, come on. Come on. All right, good, 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 good. All right, let's go, let's go. All right, guys. I am in my car in a public place safely away from where I was and uh, I don't like uh, I don't like what's uh, what's going on here so you guys heard that radio message I actually had to play it back a couple times to fully understand it long story short if you didn't catch it the cult is pretty much saying hey I took care of, of these two stalkers, who, I'm, who they're referring to, the tape mask stalker, I'm guessing the flashlight stalker, and they're saying, we've taken care of these two stalkers, and uh, you're pretty much indebted to us, and do what we say, we own you. That's pretty much like cliff notes of it. I forgot their exact wording, but they're like, we gave you life, we can take it away. A very, very cliche mom thing to say. Um, I brought you into this world. I can take you out. So get some new get some new source material cult. But um, yeah, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much the message they're trying to convey. So and this proves my theory right all along. What was going on with the cult? We had this theory that the cult was. Uh, Pretty much, there's three, okay, here we go. Sorry guys, for you, for those of you who've heard this 500 times, um, I'm just I just gonna give a brief rundown to the people who maybe have just joined the channel. So we've been dealing with a cult for a while and, and two groups, of, and one group of stalkers. So we've had, we're gonna call the cult group C, the neutral party group B, and the stalkers group A, who's tape mask and uh, um, flashlight stalker. So, what I think happened was, so what is happening is Group B, the neutral party, has been leaving us clues about this cult. And the cult has been like finding these clues out about them. They want something. I don't know what they want. Maybe I haven't found it yet, but they want something. And then Group A is determined to stop it. So as you can see, Group A and Group C, the cult, uh, are at odds with each other. And Group B is like the neutral party and they're just kind of leaving clues. The thing that kicked this whole thing off is I found some clues and I made, I put them in a video and I found out a little while later, like I wasn't supposed to do that. I got a note, it's like, it said, it was from Group B saying like, hey, don't tell anybody about us. Don't tell anybody about this. Like, uh, you know, just 
burn this after reading. And then by then I had already po post a bunch of videos about it. So I think that's how the cult kind of find found out that this, that I was getting these clues. So, um, as a, so recently the stalkers have become more aggressive, way more aggressive. Uh, the, the, the tape mask stalker broke into my house, um, and threatened to hurt my family. Uh, he was hiding in my, in, uh, in the basement waiting for my dad to come over and he was going to ambush, like, he was implying that he was going to ambush him. Um, and just, I've had, I've had various, and then I had the, the tape mask stalker, uh, he, like, again, under threat, forced me to deliver a package. Uh, then when I got there, he pulled a gun on me. Um, so he just been getting like this group of stalkers have been getting more and more aggressive as time has gone on. And, uh, I think, um, what happened is the cult kind of knew like, I'm, I'm at my, my wits end. You know, if I keep getting threatened, I'm going to stop doing Randonautica. They can't have that cause they can't, you know, they can't have me get, you know, like stop giving them clues. So they kind of took out the stalkers and that's where we're at. Yeah. That was one of the weirdest nights that I've had in a while. And so, and now I wonder if like these radios are going to be some means of communication. Like I'm, you know what I mean? <laughs> they are a means of communication, but you know what I mean? If, if I'm going to regularly receive, uh, messages on there um from them if they're you know like yeah so yeah that's where we're at and now the cult is pretty much threat threatening me to like keep doing randonautica or i'm going to i don't know die oh uh, yeah. Anyways, okay. Sorry, I was getting distracted. Uh, I was trying to tell my one buddy about the situation. Um, all right, uh, I'm going to end it here. Uh, there's not much else to say. You guys saw what happened. You guys heard the message. Um, and that's that's about it for tonight. Uh, got a new pair. Uh, let's start. Let's go out on a positive note. I got a new paranormal video coming very soon. So you guys who like paranormal videos. Uh, you'll be happy. Um, that one's going to be coming out this week. Um, those of you who like the Randonauticas, don't worry. This isn't turning into a strictly paranormal channel. It never will. I shouldn't, I shouldn't, you should never say never, but I don't intend this to be a strictly paranormal channel, but don't worry. Uh, we got new ran, a new Randonautica coming out for you guys this weekend. So if you don't like the paranormal, skip that, wait for this weekend and there'll be a Randonautica for you right on schedule. Um, but other than that, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank ever, thank you everybody who subscribed. Thank you for our, our channel members and patrons. You guys made tonight's video possible. Everybody, make sure you join the Patreon. Not, I'm sorry, not the Patreon. Make sure you join the Discord. <laughs> I mean, you can join the Patreon if you want, but but no, make sure you join the Discord. Uh, it's free. It's for everybody. Love to have you in there. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, that should do it. Um, all right, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, guys, have a good night or day wherever you're at, and we will see you very, very soon on the next video. Peace out, guys. Peace out.